The first outfit is all dystopian vibes. Top layer piece comes from Rain Delusion. And yes, this item was sent to me for free by Unidin. It's a bomber jacket with a collar that also zips up to look like a turtleneck kind of. If you guys ever had an Adidas tracksuit, this is the same type of material. Very bouncy and has a good weight to it. And this piece does focus more so on the aesthetics rather than the functionality side of tech wear. Quote unquote tech wear, I should say. However, it does have some nice touches to it. If you guys ever get the chance, try and pick up a jacket with a double zipper. This is going to allow you to zip up and unzip the bottom, allowing for more exposure for the under layer pieces. That way you can utilize this for a pop of color or to show off the fabric or to expose a belt or a keychain. At least that's what I do. Not too many people do this with their normal outfits. I definitely recommend it though if you guys can find a jacket like this. The shirt is from Respect Women. I really dig this piece because of the wash of the shirts and the message behind it obviously. This vintage dyed almost acid wash shirt is something I like to pick up more of. Fortunately, this shirt does have some extra length because I went with the size large, allowing for the exposure of the Respect Women quote and the capsule information. It's a pretty cool touch. Topping the top off with an Orbit Gear bag. I really dig this one because it has kind of a tote bag vibe which is what I've been feeling a lot lately. I do wish the handles were a little bit longer that way I can wear it just like a tote bag but it's not really a big deal because it has a sling. If I do make a recent pickups video I'll talk more about the functionality of this. Just know that it's weatherproof and has many ways of clipping other items to it and a ton of storage as well. This is definitely a backpack replacement. And again that tote bag vibe is something I like to rock a lot and with this item you got two ways of wearing it just like a tote bag or just like a sling bag. And I don't think I need to talk about these pants because I have plenty of times, but real quick, it's the Nike Lab ACG Fall Winter 18 Deploy Cargos. Weatherproof, plenty of storage, great design language by Aerosmith Hugh. And finishing the fit is my new favorite pickup in a long, long time. And that's a collaboration between Converse and a cold wall. A cold wall has always had beautiful designs and these are no different. Very minimalistic, kind of has that military boot look that's also weatherproof and perfect for inclement weather or hiking. I felt it was a necessary pop of color along with the sling to complete an otherwise all black look. They just released the black ones as well but the grays are still my favorite. Almost pulled the trigger on the black ones but I knew I shouldn't. Also another thing that makes this useful and is good for fit picks as well is to take off the jacket and then letting it drape on the sling or tote bag whatever you want to call it. That's a pro tip for you guys and it's not going to fall off because half of it is pressing against your body so if it gets too hot during the day this is totally something you can do. And last item that I forgot to mention is the Airism face mask from Uniqlo just so I can keep myself safe from the Rona and just like you can keep yourself safe with the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. If you're ever using public Wi-Fi, it's almost stupid easy for other users to steal your data. And that's where a VPN comes in, virtual private network like Surfshark. Just open Surfshark on your computer or the app on your phone and you just gotta hit one button and it's like you have your own private network at home while you're in public. And there's a ton of public Wi-Fi where I live. I'm always connected to one and have been a customer with Surfshark for some time now. VPNs are also a great solution to any internet censorship in other countries. That could be certain social medias or content. Like let's just say you're in a country with no access to Disney+. Plus. How are you gonna see Ahsoka and Darth Maul duke it out? That's where Surfshark comes in. Just change your country and you'll virtually be back in that specific country or any other country where you want to access their curated content. They also have very useful features like blind search. So there's no ads, no tracking, no more social dilemma documentaries happening to you. And there is a 30 day money back guarantee. Go ahead and click the link in the description. Use my code TIE. You're going to get 83% off plus three months for free. Three free months. And once again, thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. This next one is a simple outfit that anybody can rock. The concept behind this was to focus on the accent pieces. That is why this fit is almost all black with a few pops of colors or accessories. Let's start off with the pants. As you can see, I've been wearing these a lot and for good reason. It's black denim. Not only that, it's a straight cut relaxed fit that's extra stretchy, making them easy to throw on daily. When you cuff these, it does have a gradient type of look because the inside of the pants are gray instead of black, so it makes for a great transition to the sneakers. Got these for only $19.90 and it's the best value for pants I've seen in a long while. Looks like $14.90 now. I'd pick these up if you get the chance to. So I kept with that gray gradient transition with an even lighter gray crew sock leading to the Niger 2s. I would skate these more, but I actually just like the look of these. And they're also more pricier than Vans. I'd much rather skate those until I'm no longer broke, but I'll skate these once in a while. Highly recommend these for lifestyle wear since I know a lot of you guys don't skate. I hope you guys do try it out, but it's a great switch up sneaker wise to incorporate in your wardrobe. Top is a Carhartt long sleeve. Really enjoy this piece because of the minimal branding up front. You do get it on the left sleeve, but since this is a more oversized look, the sleeves do bunch up anyways, so the logo isn't so pronounced. This is a size large by the way, and it does have extra length because that's what happens when you size up. The piece isn't made to be boxy for shorter dudes, but I don't mind. This does give me more options. I can leave it normally or 
can tuck it for a different look. Got on a few rings, a minimal bar necklace, and I find the orange mustard beanie really adds a necessary splash of color to the outfits. And of course, the last accessory is a tote bag from Ore NYC. If you guys watch Ray Maya or Ray Mia, you'll know about Ore. Great channel, by the way. Just had to show love because they make some pretty clean pieces. And including this keychain as well, it has a nice, you know, beat up look that I really appreciate. Nice switch up from that Lululemon one that I had earlier. And that is fit number two. More of my everyday wear, super simple, easy to throw on, and one of my favorites. And last outfit is a smart streetwear outfit that just screams the fall season. So starting off with the beanie, which does come from Amazon, link in the description, by the way. I like this beanie because it's cheap, and when it comes to headwear, don't go too crazy with it. Of course, to go with fall, it's an olive-ish color. I do wish that it did have more gray tones to it. Right now, it's a little too green for my taste, but hey, it's olive. The top is a brown Uniqlo pocket long sleeve. I'll try and find it and link it down below. I finally have Uniqlo's where I live, so I've just been shopping in person lately, so I don't know the name of some items. But yeah, if I find it, I'll link it down below. The fit of this shirt is more so a slim, relaxed look. Definitely not oversized, definitely not skin tight. It's a good middle ground. And this is made from cotton and has a lot of weight to it. So so this alone is good to rock outside during the cooler fall temperatures and if I do need a little more warmth I'll wear some heat tech underneath or a puffer vest. Pants are the Carhartt dungarees. I've talked about these in another lookbook. These pants are very similar to the Dickies 874 work pants, only these are more comfortable and not so stiff. I do feel quite mobile in these. Incredibly versatile and definitely one of my favorite pants as of late. Of course, I've got to cuff three times whenever I'm standing. That way you can see the crew socks I'm wearing underneath. Whenever I do take a seat, I do uncuff it by one because sometimes it can ride up a little bit too high. I don't do it every time though, it's mainly for photo shoots. Now I threw on some heathered light brown crew socks to kind of match the brown color palette that I have going on right now. That way it kind of has a monochromatic look in a way. Obviously it's not because the pants are black and beanies olive, but you get what I mean. And the kicks come from Oliver Cabell. I highly recommend their sneaks over common projects. A lot of my friends have CPs and I'm telling you, these are the same exact thing, just half the price. I've tried on their sneakers, it feels exactly the same. And to be transparent, they did send these to me for free, although I was about to pick some up for myself, but luckily, they hooked me up. Finally, topping off the fit, a pair of frames. Like, with hats, it's hard to get used to at first, but you just gotta find a frame that you find yourself the most confident in. There's no face shape rules like I may have said in the past, if you feel it's complementing your bone structure or whatever, that's all that really matters. What I like most about this smart streetwear outfit is that it can easily become another quote unquote aesthetic, you know, the poser aesthetic to be exact, to satisfy all those kids that comment poser on any skater fashion video. Swap the white leather sneakers for the Vans Chucka Pros and take off the glasses and you, my friend, have a comfortable and durable outfit to rock whenever you're skating that'll also make you feel good so you can just skate better and land your tricks better. Some wear and tear will occur on your clothes if you do skates, but I kind of like that. It's, it's the difference between a clean, crisp piece of furniture or one that has seen some usage like this one that I found on the street. And that was the last outfit, guys. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Ty and subscribe to this channel.